When did you hear the news, and how? Oh, it's on about Sunday night. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, texting my son about the Capitals, uh, <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, "What's the president going to talk about?" I said, "Huh?" <laughs> Turned on the television. Uh, and were you were you surprised? Uh, well, I said, if he's coming on TV, either we're invading Libya or Bin Laden's dead. I did it. Again. Really? It was, was one for two in my prediction. <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, I mean, I do remember. Uh, it was a good time to throw in invading Libya. Yeah. Uh, well, Sunday at 10:30, you're trying to think. Okay, what qualifies for Sunday yeah. at 10:30? So, um, but. Uh, yeah, you know, I had, I think, like Peter and a lot of other people, been living with this subject for a long time. And uh, so I do remember um, the morning of 9-11, I was in my uh, home office in, in the house that we had at that time in uh, Bethesda. And I was actually, <laughs> I was typing notes for a book that I intended to write about Rwanda. <laughs> and... Uh, it was kind of preliminary, but I was just fiddling around at my desk, and I had this little TV on with CNN on mute, and uh, and at that time I was uh, managing editor at the Post, so I would get up and work on my notes in the morning, go in usually about 9:30, and uh, so I was watching it, and the first one came in, and I thought, God, that's weird, and I, and of course the main reaction as a bureaucrat was, oh, this is going to be such a long day at the office. <laughs> and so I, I kind of thought, I had a plane crash in New York, this is going to be a mess. And so I got up and uh, kind of got myself organized to go jump in the car and go in. And in the time between then and when I was ready to grab my keys and leave, the second plane went in. And my wife who had her desk across from me in the same office. I said, well, that's Bin Laden. And I think basically everybody who had been around this for the you know, six, seven years before 9-11. Some people maybe got it the first plane, but everybody got it on the second plane. And the gap between, you know, that moment and Sunday night, it's just, uh, you know, you reflect on the way it affected, uh, you know, the country and, and everybody. It's a long right. time uh, and almost imponderable where we were on that morning versus, you know, where we ended up on that 